Hi, my name is Stephen McGee, and I'm the author of Health Forensics. And we're here to look into the difference between a standard AC multimeter and a true RMS AC multimeter. And we have both meters connected up to the same source, so the positives are going out to the electrical utility system grounding connection, and the negatives are going out to an 8 foot non electrified ground rod in my back garden. And we're going to compare the readings between the two meters since they're recording identical sources. So we have 1.09 volts AC on this meter and we have 1.130 volts AC on the true RMS meter. So as you can see, there really isn't that much difference between a standard meter and a true RMS meter when you're doing this stray voltage work. And that's what we're measuring right now. This is called stray voltage when it is on your electrical grounding system as referenced out to a non-electrified ground rod. So I thought it was very, very interesting that you don't appear to need the true RMS meter to get a, a very reasonable value of what is going on on the AC electrical system regarding stray voltage. I hope you enjoyed the presentation and I wish you the very best of health. Thank you.